Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is Kashmir and me and welcome to my another vlog. The best thing about this is that I'm in Kashmir. It's harvest going on and apples are... Look at this. Yeah, those was apple boxes. Apples are being harvested right now. I am on way to District Shopeon and now we are only a few kilometers away from the apple orchards that we have to visit and see how apples are being plucked and packed and then set to various parts of the world. We have almost reached actually inside the orchard and these crates are full of apples right now and I am now super excited to get down and experience this. <laughs> I have reached this orchard just in time. Most of the apples have been plucked. They are into the crates. <laughs> Look, here is a baby apple that has not yet been plucked. And I don't think it's gonna make it to the cut. Poor apple. This I find one of the reddest apples here. Look, I'm gonna pluck this. Guess what's the best place to have an apple? You know where? It's right under an apple tree. I'm gonna go here, sit down, and have this apple right under an apple tree with hundreds and thousands of apples watching over me. Look, this is not washed yet, and uh, it might have some pesticides spray on them. I need to wash it but I'm gonna have it anyway. I'm gonna just rub it on my jeans and give it on whatever it is. You know, I would prefer dying by having the wrong apple laden with pesticides rather than going out and then regretting not having an apple. Juiciest, tastiest, most delicious of all apples that I've ever had. While I finish my apple, just listen to the crickets. Listen to the crickets. Again, I'm telling you, listen to the crickets. It's, it's beautiful. If Matt Damon watches this, I'm sure he doesn't even know. Never in life. How do you like them apples? While they were plucking the apples, he just pulled out a, a walnut from his pocket and he gifted the walnut to me. I'm pretty lucky. I guess I'll have to find something to break it on and eat it. Yeah, a walnut for today is a price. I'm told that this variety of apples is very very tasty. It's called American Trail. I don't know how to say that in Hindi, Urdu or whatever language. So I'm gonna go to the side and enjoy this one. I have to rub it on my jeans 
I'm not gonna wash these. So yeah, it's pretty shiny now. Everything is off. Juicy, yes. The texture is a little harder than the one that I had before this. The texture actually is the main difference. You feel it in your mouth. I'm told that this apple, it is called Maharaja apple and it is a little sour in taste and one of the most expensive apples. The size is bigger, the shape is a bit round and leaves of the tree are larger as compared to the rest of the tree. For example, this apple tree right here, its leaves are smaller and the Maharaja apple tree right here, the leaves are larger, the apples are a bit round, the color is a bit more red and the taste is sour. This one, American delicious. This one, Kullu delicious. This one, golden delicious. It will turn golden with time. This one, American Trail. I don't know the English name. And this one, the most sour of them all and the most expensive of them all, the Maharaja. Well, when we are talking about apples, we can't forget this thing. This is called Bamsunt in Kashmiri. And in English, this is quince. So it makes beautiful, they, they make beautiful pickles out of it. They make jams out of it. They make really good curry out of it. It's an essential part of Kashmiri cuisine. But I don't know why they call this apple. Bamsunt. <laughs> Once, uh, it now it then became a joke. Bam in Kashmiri means fire brigade. And tsunt is apple. So they asked someone, what is Bamsunt called in English? And he said, Fire Brigade Apple. So here it is, your Fire Brigade Apple. Okay, that's enough of apple knowledge for today. That have fallen, go into this pit, and it becomes compost for the orchard. And the apples, and the apples that are of good quality and need to be packed, go into lots of crates like these, and then they'll be sent off, and then packed into boxes like those, wooden boxes. So, this is the sofa. Now, here's an opportunity for me to take you through a walk through this apple orchard. We are very lucky that they have not plucked all the apples. Some of the trees are left behind. And this is the first person view that you're gonna get if you ever get to visit an apple orchard in Kashmir. Lots and lots of apples, trees of all ages, calves, cows, some dogs as well. There are one and there's another, two lines of trees, all of them have apples in them. So that's why they are keeping these little sticks as a support to the branches that get heavy lest they come down because of the weight of the fruit. These branches are so, so heavy, they have more than tens of kgs of apples on them. I am so lucky to be in Kashmir while the harvest season is going on. I came across lots and lots of dandelions while filming this video and this is one more. <laughs> I find happiness whenever I blow a dandelion. As you already know, my vlog, any vlog that comes from Kashmir and me, is incomplete without poetry. And guess what? I'm in Kashmir, I'm in Apple Orchard, I'm in a village. There are sounds of crickets going on. And 
what better than to pick up the Sulmi Saab's poetry for this occasion. The book is Sulmi, the Romantic Poet of Kashmir. <laughs> Remember how my book covers always I try to complement them with the background and right now look at this. Look at this and look at this. Chon Pakanui Parzanov my Durie Walaikos Durie Puri my Trav Nirie Sully Vatitri Tzir Draikai Gartas Badnam Gurthas Kanabalkis Gartas Katakan Zulit Nargoye Surie Walaikos Durie Puri my Trav Nirie John Pakunui Parzanov my Duri Olaikos Duri Puri my Travni Kut Kut Ashak John Wuchne Hipan Mut Gay Bul Bul Sos Johnui Bozan Tot Nar Ashkan Pivok Zan Lai Muri Olaikos Duri Puri my Travni Veri Nagai Niribu Agi Achval ki po shere lagiye, kraye maran kot gatsak kanaduriye, walai kosturiye, puri mai trav. Hi panas mool thoye zatan, kot chagasan vannai jahatan, yor yakna lol chumchun muriye, walai kosturiye, puri mai trav niriye. Naya namas pet ham tai. Khor chakwayan Yumnai ashkan Tiri mishgan layan Ham goi abas namratta yurie Valai kosturie Puri my trav niri Matan woodre hekasan chakasan Tikadar kasabas grai chakmara Kongal mustas mokta shubie jurie Valai kosturie Puri my trav niri Gacha kutine, wataravit tawye, Lachanavis hal panon bawye, Wachmans lismans, Rachahat achnuye, Walaikos turye, Puri my trav niriye. Tsai di shitrasul miran zainikai, Kadsanobar sarobala munikai, Dai yeli ditai, Dakapanun puye, Walaikos turye. Puri my trav niri, John Pakunui Parzano my duri, Valaikos turi, Puri my trav niri, Rasul Mirza. The sound of Azan mesmerizes me whenever I'm in Kashmir. So whenever I hear an Azan going on, I just prefer to sit down and listen to it. I usually miss this Azan whenever I'm outside of Kashmir. So I'm just gonna sit down in this apple orchard and listen to this. Look here, the friend. It's beautiful. I told you that Kashmir's Azan has this indigenous touch to it. It's really, really something that you always miss. Here's a walnut and this is a walnut tree. It's so easy to recognize the leaves have this peculiar color. And now, you know, because of this autumn, leaves are changing their color and, look, and it looks beautiful. Walnut trees are huge. And still, if you just roam around this area, in my childhood I used to do that, you'll find lots of walnuts still there. And then, just like you pick up this one. More cows. 
today's vlog is now over. I'm gonna enjoy this walnut. I hope you liked the video and I hope you share it with your friends and leave your feedback in the comment below.